Hello there, I'm gonna show you some friction hitches. We're gonna start with the Prusik hitch, then the Climb Heist and the Auto Block. The Prusik grips the best, and the Auto Block is the most slippery. And we're gonna use a variety of different materials. The best material for a friction hitch is a cord. And if you have a cord, I would recommend going with a five millimeter, tied in a double fisherman, 13 and a half inches from end to end. And if you want to tie a prusik hitch, you can split it in half with the knot on one end. And then you start with a girth hitch. So you just, the knot goes through. And then go two more wraps. There's a second and a third wrap. And then we'll pull one side more than the other to offset the knot from the end. We don't want the carabiner pulling on the knot. That'll weaken the knot. Now we've got a messy hitch here, so let's dress it up. And if we dress it, we're going to get maximum surface contact and therefore the best grip. Okay, so that's what your Prusik hitch should look like. You can see it is gripping. Now we can also tie a climb heist with cord, but you cannot tie a Prusik hitch with webbing. Okay, so climb heist you can go with either material. So we're going to start with the knot almost at the bottom and pinch right above that and go for four wraps. So one, two, three, and four. And we've got a nice small loop here at the top, larger loop at the bottom. The lower loop comes up and through and back down. We can loosen with the thumb, slide up, and it is gripping, okay? So let's tie a climb heist with the webbing. We're gonna need more wraps. This is pure nylon here. You can tell because it has no white in it. And this one, has a lot of spectra or dyneema in it because of that white, and that's gonna be more slippery. So in this case, let's go with about six wraps on our climb high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no rule on the number of wraps. Do as many wraps as it takes to get it to grip, depending on the diameter of this rope and the material you're using for your hitch. With the Dyneema and all that white spectra, it's very slippery, so we're going to want to do at least six wraps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and up and through and back down. And then we'll take a look at the auto block, which can be done with webbing or with cord. Put the bar tack or the stitching at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. That might not be enough for full body weight. That might be enough to back up a break hand. There's six. That should do it. Okay, so let's take a look at the Bulldog, the most reliable one, the Prusik. Should grip no problem. Put the weight on it. Yes, loosen, slide up, sit on it. Now, will it release with full weight? Nope, very reliable. Climb high should be similar. A little bit easier to loosen it and slide up, which is nice. So you sit on it, get the thumb, loosen, and slide. Now, will it release under load? It shouldn't, ah, pretty good. That one's a favorite of a lot of climbers. Now, once you get to the webbing, more chance of it sliding. It's a little messy, but it should work. Okay, catching, loosen, slide up. Let's see if we can get it to release. Okay, let's hold it. Now with our Spectra one, not sure how well it's gonna do. Let's see. Probably okay, because it's old and fuzzy. A new one will be worse. All right, so we'll sit on it. And, okay, it's holding. And we can loosen and slide up. Now the auto block, really, it's not meant for full body weight. Really, it's meant for backing up a brake hand, for a rappel, or for a lower. So, really not the best application here. But let's see what happens. You put the weight on it, the rope does this weird corkscrew thing, it looks terrible, and it's just gonna go, watch. Okay, so the auto block 
is a completely different category of hitch. It's meant to slide on the backside of a belay device.